folks, it's me again, Magnus, with CompactDrums.com and Wallopus Drum Wrap. A couple of weeks ago, um, when I did a video uh, highlighting, showcasing our uh, traditional True Sparkle Drum Wraps, I promised I would put up a video on how easy it is to apply our full dress shapes on drums. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. So the drum we have here is uh, is kind of old-fashioned in that it has the center lugs even on the toms and actually this kit has center lugs on the bass drum and floor tom as well. Um, so it's kind of suitable for these uh, uh, full dress shapes. And the wrap that is on this uh, drum kit is called Wallopus uh, Merlot Strata drum wrap. So without further ado, we're going to move this to a section that hasn't yet gotten applied. We're going to apply one. So, little known fact, a lot of today's custom drum makers are doing uh, stuff like this, but they're inlaying them properly into the wrap. But back in the day when, uh, when this was something new and exciting, that's not how they did it. Like the old Lady Spartan, for example, it was just applied like this over top with glue. We made that a little more convenient because on ours we've applied uh, pressure sensitive adhesive to the back of it so it's very easy to apply it. The real only challenge is getting it nicely centered on each section. So how we're going to do that is we are going to mark... Uh, first we're going to mark a center line simply by measuring the distance from lug to lug and of course dividing that difference in two and making a little mark right there. So this is it's a little hard to see on this dark background. Uh, eight and a half inches, so four point four point seven five is right there. Doesn't look like the middle, really. Eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half, 4.75, right there. And then I'll do the same thing up here. Make a mark at 4.75. And then we're going to draw a straight line through those marks. Yes, I'm using permanent marker right on the newly done wrap job. Um, most of that is going to get hidden under the uh, under the shape, under the diamond, and what isn't hidden under the diamond, we're simply going to wipe off with uh, rubbing alcohol. And it's very simple. So don't get too distraught about me making big marks like that. Then we're going to mark the center point of the depth of the drum shell like that, and we're going to take half the total height of the shape, and in this case the total height is precisely 10 centimeters, so we're going to take a f 5 centimeters right here, and make a little mark, and then we're ready to put our nifty little shape on. So like I said, back in the day with the Leedy Spartans and uh, whoever else did these full shapes, they just applied them over top like this. Um, now a lot of modern drum makers like to inlay them, and we can certainly accommodate that too if you don't want to install it very simply like this by applying them over top with the double or with the uh, pressure sensitive adhesive. Just let us know. We're happy to make these shapes any way you want them. We can customize them color-wise, shape-wise, size-wise. We can put little logos in the center or letters or words. Um, and we can certainly do them without pressure-sensitive adhesive on the back if you would rather install them uh, inlaid into your wrap. So, but the nifty thing with this is you can add this to any drum kit that's already assembled. You don't need to disassemble anything. Um, now this pressure sensitive adhesive that comes here, it's it's strong stuff. It's not going to come off. I mean, you can consider this a permanent addition. If you ever did want to take them off, 
it's uh, you pretty much have to use heat to get this off. This this adhesive is strong. It's strong like contact cement. It's you should consider this a permanent addition to your kit, not something that you do to try it out and then think that you can just remove it after because you can't. It's stuck on there. And then, like I said, we're going to get rid of the uh, marks that I made with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. See, it just comes right off like that. Yes, rubbing alcohol is completely safe to use on Wallopus drum wrap. Um, Wallopus drum wrap is not very sensitive to that kind of stuff. It's actually quite, quite tough and durable. And then maybe we'll uh, see about getting some of those ugly fingerprints and stuff off so it looks real nice and shiny. Uh -huh. And then instead we leave a bunch of lint. Okay, and there you have it. We have applied a full dress shape on top of our Merlot Strata drum wrap. Um, like I mentioned, you can order these in any size, any shape. You can get them round or square or stars or, uh, or you know, and you can get your logo there if you want to use them as your own personal drum badges. We can do that for you. Anything is possible. Um, we're happy to customize these. That's why you'll find our full dress shapes in the custom section on uh, Wallopus. Com. Thanks for tuning in. I hope somebody found this uh, short video helpful and informative and hope you tune in soon. Thanks. Bye.